This is the time of year when many couples are getting married, but the road to the altar can be a long, stress-filled one for both the bride and the groom. We've heard stories about this. Joining me today, Sarah Kitchen, just married on July 3rd, mm -hmm. and Dr. Christopher Covell, thank you so much for joining me. This is great. Congratulations to you. Thank you. What, I mean, you probably have had a chance to have this big sigh of relief, but, but it wasn't that long ago that you were under all of this stress. What would you say the biggest stressors were leading up to the day? I think just trying to stay organized because there's just so much that you have to get done all at the same time and it's just a matter of keeping your head and staying organized. And um, did you do anything? Were there any rituals or things that you would do for yourself to, to help get rid of some of that? Um, I started walking every morning before work for about 45 minutes and it's really quiet and that was a good way to kind of calm down and not think about the wedding and get a little exercise at the same time. And now looking back on it, were there things that you see now that you thought, you know what, I really didn't need to stress that much about that issue? Um, more, I look back and I wish I would have delegated a little bit more because mm -hmm. um, I could have spread out the work a little more. My parents were great, they helped a lot, but um, I definitely took on a lot of extra stresses that maybe I didn't need to. And Dr. Covell, this is very common, as I'm sure that you know. And what is it about getting married? I mean, we know, you know buying a house, which you're doing now too. Mm -hmm. um, life changes like that seem to be huge stressors. Why is that? And even if they're uh, positive things, that's the thing that's most surprising, I think, is when those positive things are huge stressors. But I think it's about expectation. You know, we want uh, those things to be really positive. And so we put a lot of pressure on ourselves. Mm -hmm. And what are some things, um, she decided to walk, which of course exercise is going to help alleviate stress. What are some things that brides, even grooms can do to, to stay calm? That's true because grooms uh, can experience the stress too, although they're often not as quick to admit it. <laughs> I think some of the things that Sarah mentioned uh, are really good examples. Uh, exercise is uh, very helpful to burn off some of that physical stress that we're experiencing. Talking to friends can help a lot. Uh, humor between you and your future spouse, you know, can can help. Um, I think watching a movie uh, about uh, wedding stress would be a nice <laughs> idea, like maybe Father of the Bride or something else like that. And how do you keep focused on the positive? Um, I think it takes a little bit of conscious effort. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes uh, some of us more than others just naturally focus on positive things, but most of us uh, need a little help from our friends, help from ourselves mm -hmm. to, uh, to remind each other, our, ourselves each day that uh, this is a good thing. Wonderful. Dr. Covell, Sarah, thank you so much. Congratulations again. Thank you. Good luck with the new house as you, you take under a new endeavor. Thank you both again.